Ido Rosenblum, very nice to meet you. Nice to be here. You are currently doing your PhD at the Politics and Government Science Department of Ben Gurion University of Negev. Uh, you are also co initiator of the Cultural Diplomacy Forum and you are continuing your third year at the Centre Medurkheim in Bordeaux for a few weeks. To begin, could you tell us a little bit about your background, what led you to, to become interested in research? Yes, um, so I'm in uh, almost 37 years old, um, living in Tel Aviv, uh, um, Israel, um, and going, and so I'm, I'm not living in Be'er Sheva, where is the university's place? Um, and my research is about uh, Israeli chefs in the EU uh, and how um, we can understand uh, the Israeli-EU relations through the, the culinary, the Israeli culinary scene in the EU. Um, as you mentioned, I, I'm the co-initiator of the, the, um, of the uh, Cultural Diplomacy Forum, uh, which is a part of the Simone Weil uh, Research Center for, for uh, um, Contemporary European Studies. Um, as a part of our uh, forum, we, we are developing the connection and the relations between the, the um, diplomatic sector, uh, um, academics, uh, academics uh, world, and, and the world of, of culture. Um, we are aiming to, to build relations that, that are um, for working together on projects um, to take cultural diplomacy forward. Uh, both in the um, research area, but uh, also in, in practice. Um, that's it, more or less, I think. Mm, that, that, that's interesting. Uh, could you just uh, develop a little bit your uh, research object? I feel like it's really interesting. Yes. Um, so, well, after finalizing my MA, um, which was about the Israeli community uh, in Berlin, and how food is a, is a central part of their a, a identity building as, as a community and as as, as a person as, as immigrants as diaspora. Um, I st I started to to see or to understand that there is a, a growing phenomena of of a, a Israeli owned restaurant or, or, or restaurants that are run by Israeli chefs in the EU area, mostly in the big cities, mm -hmm. but not just. Even here in Bordeaux, we have uh, such restaurants. Um, uh, not saying that Bordeaux is not a big city, but comparing to London, Paris, etc. Um, so, and, and the phenomenon phenomena is really interesting through my eyes because um, when comparing to other national cuisines um, that you can see in, in those cities, um, it comes from, let's say, it's from um, French cuisine, Italian, Thai, Mexican, etc. You just can uh, choose. Um, the, the, those Israeli chefs are trying to avoid uh, the use of Israeli cuisine. They are not shame or not hiding their Israeli identity as chef, as persons, as, as immigrants. But when they are coming to, to tell about their, their cuisine, their, 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 their cooking um, ideas, they are, they are avoiding the, the idea of Israeli cuisine. Um, even when comparing the Israeli diaspora, the Israeli chefs diaspora in, the, in North America, they feel free to use the, the, the term Israeli cuisine. So I thought that it's really interesting and I wanted to understand why. Uh, why they prefer to use uh, the terms um, Mediterranean, Middle Eastern, Levantine, or um, in some other places, um, Tel Avivian cuisine or Jerusalem cuisine. Um, and... The, 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 that was the starting point of my research. I must say that uh, um, um, the, since then, I understand that the, the picture is more diverse and there are some chefs that using the term Israeli cuisine, there are some changes. Um, um, but the, this issue is very political, I think, and this comes with the way of how Israel is perceived in the, in the, in the EU. Uh, and by the, EU, the citizens of the EU and the members of the nation states of the EU. Um, and this is 
basically, on, in a nutshell, my research. That's really interesting. I have a, a personal question. Do you have yes. a, any recommendation of uh, Israeli speciality or Middle East speciality? It depends. <laughs> Ooh la la. Um, well, first of all, if you live in, for, for the ones that live in Bordeaux, there is two very interesting restaurants. Uh, one is more like fast food called uh, Massa. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a really good. Yeah, it's it's a falafel place, yes. which and I, I I I'm not here to claim that falafel is an Israeli food for sure. It's not. It's a uh, Middle Eastern, originally maybe from Egypt. Um, there is the Palestinian um, um, kind of version, uh, which based on chickpeas. Um, but here in Bordeaux, uh, we are, you have the the masa, which is more for the. Um, um, fast food and there is another one that called Mampuku which is um, the, the, it's the same owner uh, he's an Israeli guy but the, in Mampuku he, he has partners uh, his wife which is originally Japanese and uh, um, another partner which is um, half Vietnamese half uh, French so they are creating like a, 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 um, let's say a mixture of all cultures um, And about Israeli cuisine, I'm not sure, uh, or Mediterranean cuisine, I, I'm not sure. It's, it's really hard to, to, to recommend about something, but I think um, it's full of flavor. It's flavorful, flavorful food um, that um, you can find many, many uh, uh, herbs or uh, spices in. Uh, and this is what I like in this food. So, yeah, that's it. Thank you. Um, I, I do have another question. Is why, why did you choose to come uh, uh, to the Centre Emile Durkheim here in Bordeaux to, to, to pursue uh, your research? Um, so this is my second time here. Uh, I already uh, visited uh, Science Po and the uh, Centre Emile Durkheim on, uh, at the beginning of 2019. Well, as... as, uh, as, as The most uh, um, exciting and, and um, um, joyful things are happening in life. Uh, it happened by accident. Um, and the head of the research center that I, I, uh, I'm part of, um, she knew someone from, from uh, Science Po Bordeaux, and she told me there is like an opportunity uh, for an Erasmus program. Um, and... It was a good opportunity for me uh, to come and to start. It was at the beginning of my, of my uh, PhD uh, to come, to find some time to write, to think about my research. And I really fell in love uh, of the campus, of the people. I think uh, the people who are so, um, first of all, open-minded and really um, have a good will to help, to listen, to give good advices. Um, I... I I was happy to listen and to hear some, some new perspective about my topic from, from students and from researchers as well. Um, and then the corona happened <laughs> during 2020. Um, but the first opportunity that I had, I found a scholarship and arrived again, uh, again to meet the same people and, and new people uh, to discuss my research, to tell them about how it developed in the last two years. And... Uh, really happy to be here again. Okay. Do you have any expectations of your stay with us? Uh, first of all, uh, um, um, well, I want the sun will shine again. Uh, well, it, it's, it feels like uh, the winter is here um, and we're in the end of June. But uh, more seriously, well, um, I hope to keep uh, um, share knowledge um, to get some knowledge, to even to, to, to give my, my ideas and perspective. Um, I think that I, I found here a very vibrant a PhD a students community. Um, well, they are very well organized and it seems that they are very good friends and they let me feel really welcome. So uh, if it will be like this, it will maintain like that and I'll... I feel it, it was worth the, the travel. <laughs> I like to ask to the researcher, what do you do actually in your free time when you're not uh, walking? So, um, due to my research uh, uh, topics, 
Uh, I love to cook and I love to eat and I love to go uh, to visit markets um, or so even supermarkets. Yeah, so it's uh, so capitalistic, but uh, I'm using my free time here um, a lot around the culinary. <laughs> um, well, if we are talking about nowadays, so I'm um, watching the Euro, which was very uh, disappointing. Yeah, we will not, we will not talk about it. We, we, are, we are all said since uh, yesterday night, uh, Um, results. Um, and my, I love to do sports. I'm running. Um, and when I'm at home, uh, the things that I love to do the most is hanging out with my wife and my three, old, or, or three years old boy, which I really miss. Um, but, yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you. You do resemble to be, to be here. To, you're a really welcome <laughs> again. Um, and yeah, do you have anything to, to add? No, thank you for having me in this podcast and thank you for the center, uh, center Emil Ludovkheim to have me here in, in, in Bordeaux and next uh, time maybe in uh, Tel Aviv or in Be'er Sheva in our campus. I will, glad, I, will, I will be glad to host anyone from, from this campus in our place. My pleasure. Yeah. Thank you so much. My pleasure.